Today, I'm sharing the best 3D printers that I've personally tested and experienced firsthand. If you're ready to take your 3D printing journey to the next level, or if you're just starting out and wondering, what's the smartest printer to buy? You're in the right place. I've broken down the pros of each model and explained which type of user they're best suited for. If you enjoy this kind of content, go ahead and drop a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps support the video and make sure you don't miss what's coming next. Number 1. Creality K2 Plus Combo if your budget is a bit flexible and you're ready to say, I'm leveling up in the 3D printing game, then the Creality K2 Plus combo is exactly what you need. I've been using this printer for a while now, and honestly, it continues to surprise me with every single print. You know when people say, this thing's a total workhorse? Yep, that's this machine. The K2 Plus combo has a frame made from aerospace-grade aluminum alloy. Even just looking at it from the outside gives you a sense of reliability. On the inside, the Matrix-style skeleton, dual Z motors, and four linear rails almost completely eliminate vibrations during printing. You can print large, single-piece models or multiple smaller ones at the same time. If you're into prototyping or small-batch production, this is a real game-changer. As for print speed, it's insanely fast, almost like it's working at the speed of light. But it's not just about speed. The precision in the details is honestly next level. Another standout feature? The dual AI-powered camera system. One camera tracks the print head to optimize flow rate, and the other keeps an eye on the print chamber. This means you don't have to babysit your prints especially great for longer jobs. It even automatically monitors belt tension, so there's no need for manual tweaks. Everything is streamlined and as hands-off as possible. And the best part? It runs super quiet while doing all of this. So, what do you think? Have you tried this model yet? Or do you have another printer in mind? Let's talk in the comments. Number 2. Anycubic Cobra S1 Combo I've been using this printer for a while now, and let me tell you this clearly. You could run it in the middle of the night and no one would even notice. Seriously, the noise level is under 50 decibels that's actually quieter than the hum of a refrigerator. If you've got little kids at home, work in a home office, or like to run prints overnight, this printer is absolutely perfect for you. But don't think the low noise means low performance not at all. The print speed is genuinely impressive. It's up to 12 times faster than standard FDM printers. If you're working on prototypes or just short on time, this machine is a total time saver. Another great feature is the Level IQ 3.0 Auto Bed Leveling System. No more wasting time trying to level the bed manually, the printer does it all for you. You get a perfect first layer every time, which means your prints stick better and are more reliable overall. Now here's something really cool. It comes with the Anycubic Ace Pro module, which allows multicolor printing with up to four colors. Want even more? You can add a second module and print in up to eight colors. And the best part? No need for post-print painting. Your prints come out colorful and ready to go. And of course, they didn't skimp on the software either. One of the must-have features these days, remote control. Through the Anycubic app, you can start, stop, or monitor your prints from anywhere. I've personally started prints from the app while heading to the office, and by the time I got back, everything was done. Seriously, it makes life so much easier. Number 3. Creality K1 Max as you probably know, when it comes to miniatures or precision work, even the tiniest details matter. That's exactly why the K1 Max caught my attention, and I've been testing it out for a while now. Let me start by saying this. This printer is a master of detail work. One of the things that impressed me the most is its AI LiDAR scanner and smart camera system. The printer actually scans the first layer of your print, and if there's even the slightest issue, it stops the job. Yep, you heard that right. Whether it's a filament overflow, a bed leveling issue, or a corner of your model lifting off the plate, this printer detects it instantly and pauses the print. So you're not wasting time on failed prints. This is a huge advantage, especially for jobs that require ultra-fine precision. But the camera system doesn't just monitor the print, it's also smart enough to detect spaghetti errors, where filament goes all over the place. You also get real-time monitoring and time-lapse recording, so you can see the entire print process from start to finish. Super handy for your workflow, and also perfect for sharing on social media. Jobs that would normally take hours on a regular printer? With this one, you get them done way faster. I was able to knock out several figures in just one day. If you're building large tabletop game setups, this is a total game changer. Now, what about ease of use? Thanks to automatic bed leveling, you don't have to mess with any manual adjustments. 
The printer uses strain sensors to calibrate the bed automatically. All you have to do is press Start Print. And then there's the cooling system which is next level. It uses directed airflow through the print head to cool the model instantly, while the extra fan inside the chamber keeps air circulating to prevent sagging or drooping in tiny details. What do you think? Have you tried the K1 Max? Or thinking about getting one? Let's talk in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences. Number 4. Sovol T500 Honestly, if you're working on large-scale projects, this might be one of the most powerful options on the market right now. The first thing that really caught my attention? The massive build volume. This isn't for small prototypes, it's made for serious, large-scale parts, big sculpture designs, or multiple prints at once. For example, I designed a multi-part product and was able to print everything in one go, no problem. Being able to complete a full project in a single print run? That's a huge time saver. Setup was also super easy. The printer comes 95% pre-assembled right out of the box. No screwdrivers, no hex keys, none of that. It took me maybe 15 minutes to get everything up and running, and I jumped straight into printing. This is a huge win, especially if you're new to 3D printing. The interface also makes life easier. The touchscreen is smooth and responsive, and with Clipper firmware on board, you don't have to mess with complex settings. The screen is high-res with vibrant colors, and the built-in LED lights on the print head make it easy to monitor your prints even in low light. Oh, and yes, it's Wi-Fi enabled, so you're not tied to your computer. You can control the printer remotely, send files, and start prints with ease. I sent a few models directly from my phone, and everything worked flawlessly. Now let's talk stability, a critical factor for large format printing. The Sovol T500 features industrial-grade linear rails, which allow the print head to move more smoothly and consistently. It also has dual Y and Z axis design, which seriously helps reduce layer shifting, even when printing large, complex models. So you don't have to worry about warping or structural failures midway through a big job. If you're into big builds or need to run multiple prints at once, the Sovol T500 won't let you down. With its spacious build area, high speed, wide filament compatibility, and rock-solid construction, it's a fantastic option for both hobbyists and small businesses alike. Number 5. Flashforge Adventurer 5M I've been testing this machine for quite a while now, and honestly, I'm really surprised by how much it offers for the price. The first thing that stands out is the core XY structure with a full metal frame. Prints that used to take hours are now completed much faster. I've definitely felt the speed difference in my own projects this alone puts it a step ahead of many other printers. And remember how annoying it used to be to wait for the printer to heat up? That's completely gone with this one. It gets up to temp fast and gets you printing right away. But one of my favorite features, hands down, is the automatic bed leveling. There's no manual tuning needed, the printer sets the first layer perfectly every time. For both beginners and experienced users, that means less frustration and more time actually printing. And when the print is done, removing your model is super easy thanks to the double-sided PEI-coated bed. No tools or force needed, the model practically pops off on its own. The cooling system is another strong point. It has dual-channel cooling fans, which really help maintain clean, sharp layers, especially at high speeds. This makes a big difference when you're working with fine details or corner edges. You can also switch out different nozzle sizes, which gives you flexibility whether you're going for ultra-fine detail or fast prototyping. And of course, no modern printer is complete without remote control features. Using the FlashMaker app, you can start prints, tweak settings, or get notifications even when you're away. If you add the camera module, you can even watch your prints live. I've found this especially useful on busy days when I'm not home, but still need to keep an eye on things. All right, friends. Each of these printers brings something powerful to the table in its own way. Which one was your favorite? Let me know. Down in the comments, I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Your support means a lot. And with it, I'll keep bringing you even more great content.